Arnold, I still have so many exciting ideas for experiments. Do you really think you'll suffer less in space? Planning a trip to Venus? Bad idea. The forecast on Venus calls for acid rain for the next 100 million years. We dissolve in two minutes. Want to admire Saturn's rings? Too bad. Saturn doesn't have a solid surface. You just sink into gas. The pressure would rise so fast, your internal organs would turn to mush before you even burst. Looking for somewhere cooler? A unique seasonal offering. Resorts on Triton, Neptune's moon. There's even ice there. Too bad it's nitrogen ice, not water. And the warmest it gets is negative 418 degrees Fahrenheit. Your blood would crystallize in seconds. Over the past 20 years, thousands of exoplanets have been discovered in our galaxy alone. But that doesn't mean they're livable. How about exploring exoplanet HD 189733b, where winds blast molten glass droplets at 5,400 miles per hour? Hope you're into sandblasting massages. Or Super Earth Kepler 442b, where gravity is dozens of times stronger than Earth's. Ever tried walking with five friends riding on your back? On this planet, you'd suffer longer than anywhere else. But within a few hours, all your bones would break and you'd die from internal bleeding. Then there's Korot 7b, so close to its star that its surface is a lava ocean. The temperature on the day side reaches 3,600 degrees Fahrenheit. Rocks vaporize and fall back down as lava rain. Should have packed sunscreen. Thinking of jumping to another galaxy through a wormhole inside a black hole? First, you'll hover at the event horizon, oh. maybe forever. If you do get through, then it's time for spaghettification. You'll be stretched into a long, thin strand pulled endlessly. And in the black hole itself, you'll be torn apart at the atomic level. So, how about my Earth-based experiments? Arnold, stop eating food that's meant for the crew. What do you have there? Don't tell me. That's a homemade burrito. Did you make it for the astronauts? The rocket has successfully docked with the ISS. Get ready. To open the door, you need to click on the green button in three, two, one. Green button, Arnold, green. I doubt that any of the astronauts are gonna rush to your aid after you left them without any food. You have enough air for eight hours. Somehow during this time, you have to get to the ISS by yourself. Moving your body around ain't gonna do nothing. Even if you run like Sonic, your body's gonna stay in one place. So here are some real options for moving in space. The first option is using the air from your oxygen tank. Air moves through its tubes at a speed of 50 kilometers per second. This kind of energy in just 60 hey. seconds could carry you as far as three kilometers, but this will significantly reduce your air supply. So let's move on to the second option, burrito. You wrapped it in foil and foil is an excellent reflector. If you make a sail out of the foil, then particles of light reflecting off of it will transmit their momentum to the foil and thereby accelerate you through space. Did you hear nothing I said about a sail? Son of a schmuck! Ooh, we could use that too. Gases exit the human body at a speed of 3 meters per second and they can fill an entire balloon in a day. You just need to think of a way to let them out. Arnold, what are you up to? How many burritos did you eat? Just a little bit left. Stretch! And... Remember that show Love, Death and Robots? You're oh. gonna have to tear off your hand. Okay, or just your finger. You only have three meters left. Detach part of the suit and throw it in the opposite direction. This will push you forward. <laughs> Ooh. Hmm. Quick, make a wish. <gasps> ah! 
Elon Musk has launched a new rocket into space, and space has launched a meteor back at Elon Musk. Arnold, relax. You don't even know what a meteor is. A meteor is a large celestial body of cosmic origin. Their mass ranges from a few grams to thousands of tons. And don't be scared. There's only one case of a meteor strike hitting a person in history in 1954. And even then, it just hit somebody in their leg. It seems like somebody's volunteering to save the planet. And he's just bursting with enthusiasm. It looks like this episode will be the shortest ever. And have a happy end. Ah, uh, no, never mind. Same old, same old. Seems like our planet is about to be destroyed. Or maybe there's another savior. Could it be Arnold? Excellent! We'll pick an outfit for you. So this one is a no. Definitely not this one. Yee! No, not that one. Now this one. This is what you need. Although we could just copy what Project Dart from SpaceX did. It's planned that in 2022, a spacecraft weighing 500 kilograms will ram into an asteroid named Didymos at a speed of six kilometers per second. The autopilot hasn't been installed yet, so you're gonna have to fly manually and become a hero. Oh, wow, Arnold, you survived. Pretty much like all the other lowest forms of life, like microbes. But now there is a small issue with water. After a meteor 100 kilometers in diameter hit the Earth, the shockwave destroyed almost all life within a radius of 100,000 square kilometers. There was a huge release of sulfur, and dust and ash from all the destruction rose into the upper atmosphere and blocked access from the sun's mm. rays. You must be hungry. It's good that you kept your space food in the rocket. There wasn't any food. That's terrible, because there's no food left on Earth. The average distance from Earth to the Moon is 384,467 kilometers, and every year the Moon moves three and a half centimeters further away. In the entire history of humanity so far, only 12 people have stepped on the surface of the Moon. You will be the 13th. I agree, it's not the luckiest number, but just imagine, there'll be no one on the Moon except for you. True, this ain't Miami. The temperature is minus 173 degrees Celsius. And everywhere you go, there's radiation 200 times higher than on Earth. So you can't do it without a spacesuit. But in the meantime, as a tourist, you can check into the hotel. Although construction isn't slated until 2025. Let's go to the far side of the moon. Especially because there's a bunch of cool equipment left there by astronauts. Arnold, jump into the lunar rover, start the engine, and drive! Believe it or not, there are a few lunar seas. Only, they're not filled with water, but solidified lava. Arnold, wrong pedal! Hit the brake! Congratulations, Arnold! You just smashed into the U-22 Chinese lunar rover, and you damaged your spacesuit. Oh, no. Houston, we have a problem. Don't worry, Arnold. Help is on the way. True, it's gonna take him three days to get here. And try to conserve your oxygen. Good luck, Arnold. Great news, buddy. You're saved. But you lost a finger. Arnold, you're now a true hero. That's why NASA's giving you a free ticket to Mars. Departure in three hours. Your friend Elon has a program for this. Everything we need is already waiting for us on the big red planet. And we fly immediately while the window between Earth and Mars is still open. You ready? Okay then. Fasten your seatbelts and three, two, one, go! Although it's a really long flight, I promise you won't get bored. It's a meteor cluster, Arnie. Look out! They can damage the shuttle! Quickly, get to the cargo hold. It's the only place that can protect you. By the way, we're in a closed, sealed, unventilated area, and there's not much oxygen left, so try to save it. Perhaps, for the first time in a long time, you're truly lucky, Arnold.
But alas, with you, it's all in vain. Legumes contain a lot of sucrose, which isn't digested in our stomachs. The most harmful types of sucrose lead to bloating. They're called raffinose, stachyose, and verbiscose. When they enter your intestines, bacteria begin to produce huge amounts of gas. So now you have to breathe your own farts. Serves you right, you moron. Come on, it's not so bad, Arnie. Breathe your fart. Reaction with hydrogen sulfide can prevent mitochondrial cell damage. That makes it possible to prevent the development of diseases such as arthritis, heart disease, and even stroke. So breathe deeply, Arnold. It's actually healthy. Well, I really didn't think you'd make it this far, buddy, but you're doing great, really. Hey, buddy, I thought I'd do something nice. I saved a soup for you. Nice. Skip it about the hair speeds on Mars can reach up to 100 meters a second. That's fast. Finally, some decent food. Open it quick. Let's see what's inside. Beans. Beans again. And again. And what's that there? What does it say? Hello, champion. I hope you have enough of this supply of healthy and very nutritious beans to wait until the next ship arrives. We'll send it when Mars and Earth next pass as close as possible to each other in about two years. Good luck! Let's check how the Earthlings act under conditions of fear! Is this doors really scary? I peed in fear. By the way, don't drink the juice. He's done 10,000 hours indoors. He doesn't look scared. Oh. And let's turn on weightlessness. Like in outer space. So, Arnold, are you ready to play the game in space? Well, or just fly by. On Earth, gravity holds you down, so jumping and flying away doesn't work. But if you can gain enough speed, then you can overcome the gravity of the Earth. The force of gravity and the force of inertia balance each other out, and you could fly safely in zero gravity around the Earth. Moving around in weightlessness isn't easy. And certainly not with your lack of grace. Arnold, it seems you've discovered a new type of fuel, hydrogen sulfide. It can help you deal with the monsters. Luckily, you're not the only one who missed pre-flight training. Careful, Arnie. Looks like you broke the seal. Due to the open lock, the balance of gases is all out of whack. Get your suit on, Arnold. Hooray, you did it. But now there's another problem. How are you going to hear the monsters now? I think you'll just scare away all the monsters yourself. No, you're not deaf, Arnold. Sound simply can't travel in a vacuum. Sound travels in waves. A vibrating object transmits its vibration to neighboring molecules or particles. In space, air molecules are so far apart that they can't transmit vibrations. No air, no sound. So it's better you just sit in the closet. As long as they let you anyway. Houston, we have a problem. Is this the last door? I wonder what's behind it. Arnold, hold on, it's not over yet. And now the end. You need to encode every neuron in your brain. In the human brain, there are 16 and a half billion neurons. Well, obviously, there are clearly fewer neurons in your brain. Hey, you could become a Neuralink beta tester. Neuralink reads brain signals using chips. Not chips, Arnold, but chips. You know, the kind that are implanted in the brain. Great plan. But now this technology is only at the developmental stage. Doors is a horror game. Are you afraid of anything? Well, yes, in the computer, you're immortal. The main thing is not to waste time. Careful! In what? It doesn't hurt at all. Looks like Rush is approaching. This monster rushes across the room, and if you don't hide in time, he'll kill you. What did you think? Immortality has never been free. You have to pay 30 Robux for your resurrection. To earn Robux, you can, for example, watch ads. Lots of boring ads. And you have to do this every time, forever. So it's better not to lose. Be bold, Arnold. Remember, you can't die. Someone's coming. Get in the closet. 
But if you stay too long, hide a monster who lives in the closet and doesn't like guests will appear. Arnold, be careful, it's an ice monster. You can't look at them or you lose your life. Here's the answer. You have to figure out how to deal with the eyes. This seems to be a pretty good way to achieve immortality. Of course, that is, until someone turns off the computer. It turns out that immortality in Roblox is an expensive and dangerous thing.